Ah, what are the top trips? Uh, tricks. One is consistency. So, except I'm dying, I'm, I show up every day on Instagram. There is a post, video, live class, etc. So, consistency. And if I, if I relate that to a physical store, let's say, for instance, you, what, what meal do you like? Amala, fantastic. So, you go to Yashita, and today you eat this amazing Amala. Then you come tomorrow, it's closed. You make an excuse and be like, okay, maybe today's environmental or they lost someone. When you come three times, four times, is you look for another Amala. Um, so it's the same thing with Instagram, right? Um, even though you don't feel the content is right, put it out there uh, because consistency pays. So that's one. Two is understanding who your target audience is on Instagram and where they converge. So you need to be visible on places where they converge. So if you know that, okay, your audience are on Trisha's page or they're on Isaac's page or they're on this person's page, how visible are you there? Are you adding valuable content as reply to their captions, etc., so that for some way we might see you? Third is use of hashtags. Hashtags, there are so many lectures and videos and, and articles on hashtags, but hashtags are a way to be found when we're searching. So people use the wrong hashtag, using all those IG for good. I'm like, what are you doing? So just think about it. If somebody was going to look for this dress, what will I type? What keyword will I type? It's simple. It, like, hashtags are very simple. It's not as complex as make it seem. You know, so hashtags. Then your bio, how optimized is it? That's like an amazing tool. So first things on the bio is the first line on your bio where everybody writes their business name. They are wasting it. That's a search engine optimization line where you're meant to be typing a key, you're meant to have a keyword that we'll be looking for. So for instance, if I was a healthy food business, it shouldn't be Trisha Food Company there. It should be healthy food in Lagos because when we search, the search will favor that line. You know, and then are you making use of your highlights? Highlights is like your website. So do you have like an about us, a menu page, a like learn how the platform works. There are people who teach Instagram for a living. I learn from them as well. In Nigeria, there's Nigeria brand chick. In the US, there's Sisi, the six figure chick. Um, and then there's a few others scattered around. I pick things here and there from them. Check Instagram updates. They release updates every now and then. See what new features have been added. But the most important thing or the final point is that the more features you use on Instagram, the more they like you. <laughs> so if, you, if they have Instagram Live, use it. They gave you Instagram Stories, use it. Instagram Feed, use it. Instagram Highlights, use it. Anything they bring out, use it. I don't know if if I don't know how it works back end, but it feels like the more you engage and use their all their tools on their platforms, the higher your ranking um, on the explore page or etc. So just use it and stop all this. Oh, I'm not camera friendly. My face is not this. My voice is not that. It doesn't matter. Just use it.